Hello my friends, welcome back to another uh, week of painting, another tutorial. This week I'm going to focus on um, a lovely kind of a crashing wave with lots of blues and turquoises um, in there as well. So focusing on a nice crashing wave, uh, it was a, a request by someone who is really having trouble um, creating a nice, easy, simple uh, wave crashing over. Um, but I'm going to go into a lot of detail with this so I have a slightly bigger canvas and I may make a two-part tutorial out of this but I'm going to take my time and do it really nice do you know what I mean so this week a big crashing wave with lots of bright whites and a lot of dark shadows as well as the wave kind of curls underneath so let's have a bit of fun with this um, I hope you enjoyed last week's tutorial, the two part, with the moonlight and the tree. Sometimes it's nice to get a couple of small ones in together like that as well. Uh, just to kind of show b beginners, I suppose, just some of the basic techniques that you can use to help you along and to help you progress on to uh, creating something more powerful. Do you know what I mean? So um, I hope you enjoy that. Um, I'm going to record this one on my PC with my webcam, I think, this time. And I will make sure the microphone works before I press record, okay? I'll double check everything. Uh, it just means that I can store a lot more video on my hard drive rather than storing it on my SD card in the camcorder, which I'm using now. So it just means I can make a longer uh, tutorial. Uh, I can cut it up and I make it into two parts or three parts or whatever. So it uses a lot less um, disk space as well. So now the quality might not be as good as this is right now, but um, I can play around with it and try and get it nice. Um, I might, I can always just switch to the, cam the camcorder if I need to. So I hope you don't mind. Um, enjoy, subscribe, and uh, get your stuff out if you want to follow me along. I'll take my time so you will be able to follow me along with this, okay? Um, just have a bit of fun. I hope you like it. I'll see you very soon. Okay, here we go. There's the reference photograph now. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, nice, strong colours. I thought this would just make a lovely tutorial. And it's, you know, it looks complicated, but we'll try and simplify it and we'll have a bit of fun, okay? That's the bottom line. A bit of fun. Uh, now... I have a 20 by 16 canvas. I primed this once with my own homemade kind of a primer, okay? You can see this is just pure brilliant white undercoat for interior and exterior wood and metal, okay? Now, this is a water-based undercoat, all right? Um, I added some water into it, some PVA sealer, or PVA adhesive. Um, it's just a sealer and loads of water. Now, I gave it one coat of that, and I gave it a fine sand in with some fine sandpaper, some very smooth sandpaper, and it's lovely and smooth now. But what I'm going to do is, as I go, I'm also going to wet the canvas with some of my thinners here. Now, this is just regular artist turpentine, and some linseed oil mixed in. That's why it's kind of a yellowy colour, okay? Uh, just a tiny amount of linseed oil to a full bottle, do you know what I mean? Um, you know, a dash, as they say. A little dash of oil. So I'm just going to take some tissue, some little paper towel I have here, some kind of blue tissue that I have, and I'm just going to dampen the sky. Just very, very quickly. That will just help the paint flow along nicely. Now, the thing about this is, this is not like liquid clear, okay? I know you see Bob Ross, the Bob Ross style, they use liquid clear all the time. Um, this is not like that because liquid clear will stay wet on your canvas all the time. This tends to kind of dry in. It's soaked through the canvas. But you can see then, when you kind of look at the light hitting it, it still has a sort of an oily kind of surface. So it'll still stay kind of oily slightly. And when you put the turpentine on then with your paint, it unlocks the oil in the canvas. And your paint just smooths around, just goes around lovely on the canvas. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use my large stubby, okay? It's fairly worn. It's a very worn stubby brush. And looking at the photograph here I have beside me, it's just a case of, I think, cobalt blue with a hint of cerulean. Now, I better tell you my colours, okay? Titanium white. I have some phthalo blue, 
a little alizarin crimson, some cobalt blue, some cerulean, which is a new colour. I've had it for many years, but I hardly ever use it, but I think for this it'll be lovely. So that's cerulean blue. Some black, lamp black is the one I have. Um, either one will do. I have burnt umber, which I may not even use. Uh, some Naples yellow for highlights and some cadmium yellow just for that turquoise. Okay, now that's it. Let's crack on. I'm going to dampen my brush just slightly so it's not too wet. And I'm going to take some cobalt. Now, I must be careful not to get mixed up between the two blues. That's why I put uh, some crimson between. This one is the darker one. This is the phthalo blue. Very, very dark. So I don't want to use that. I want to use cobalt. Cobalt blue. Take up some white with that and put plenty of thinners into this now, okay? Now, not too much. We don't want it too watery because, remember, we already have the oil on that canvas, okay? So we don't want this to be too thin, really. Um, like a kind of a creamy consistency probably is what I'm looking for. Now, let me just try this. I might take a hint of cerulean because I can see there's a sort of a greeny blue in the sky. Now, let me just check that. Now that's going across there really nicely. I can see the oil sort of picking up the paint and it's kind of showing through and it's really nice and kind of soft and oily. It's really lovely. Now I'm going to darken it again just a little more because I feel it needs to be slightly darker on top. And the oil is really... Look how well this is going across my canvas now. If I didn't have this oil on my canvas, and if I didn't prime the canvas, it would probably stop around here and completely dry in and soak in. And then I would be reloading my brush again. Whereas this is really nice now. This is just... It's flowing lovely across the canvas. You can, of course, if you wish, use liquid clear or some kind of... A, medium like that it's up to you completely your decision um i'm just not a fan of using the me the liquid clear i just think it just makes the canvas too wet a little bit too wet for me and you kind of tend to lose control of your brush with the liquid clear i find uh, now i did try it a long time ago in the past i just didn't like it i find it a little bit too oily a bit too slippery you know what i mean um okay now i am going to darken this slightly higher up okay i'm going to take some thalo blue and a hint of cerulean and this is going to help me give it a lovely ocean blue a real sort of a greeny blue okay just flick that across the top and i'm going to sort of soften it down okay soften it down with my brush and let it disappear now, you don't have to put clouds into this if you feel you don't want to. Um, there are no clouds in the photograph, as you can see. And by the way, I did bring my horizon line down a bit because that photograph is very wide and narrow, uh, whereas my canvas is more landscapey, kind of square. So I brought my horizon line down a little bit. I hope you don't mind. I might add a little bit of white across the bottom just to lighten it maybe slightly and that will give us a nice dark line then for our ocean okay a nice dark separation so i'm just picking up some white on its own okay i don't have any thinners on my brush now or anything because the canvas is quite wet and oily and slippery so i don't really need to thin this at all now just a little that's all you need you could pop a couple of clouds in if you wanted to i mean the focus really is on this kind of wave that's breaking here. Um, I don't know if I want to be putting clouds going going across the sky or anything like that. Maybe let's just try one or two. I'm very hesitant now about this. Um, I'll see how it looks, but I just want to maybe give just a slight impression of one or two. Um, you know, I'm just not sure. It's one of those things where you just have to kind of try it, I suppose, and see how it goes. So let's just think kind of, maybe just a one or two like that, just simple. Let's just stop at that. Now I'm going to peel off my masking tape. 
And again, this tutorial really is just focused on creating a crashing wave. It doesn't have to be um, very, very complicated. I'm going to show you how I break down scenes like this. Uh, when you're looking at this photograph, you think, God, you know, there's loads going on here. There's all these little curves and there's the lights and the darks and the different colours and the spray. Um, it looks very complicated, but I'm going to try and simplify it for you, okay, as best I can. And it's something that you could probably follow me along with as well. So I'm going to change brushes now. I'm going to take a slightly larger brush, okay, or a slightly smaller one. This is a medium kind of a flat brush, number six. I'm just going to use this to put in that very dark ocean. Um, before I do that, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. I hope you don't mind. And I'm going to take a pencil. You have to have the cup of coffee. You have to have the cup of coffee when you're painting. Isn't that right? Let's take a pencil. And I am going to just sketch very loosely um, the crest of the wave and all that kind of stuff, all right? So let's go up here. Now, I'm going to start with the bottom line here, okay? Just let's get that in first. So that's where the bottom piece comes across there, okay? And then it kind of comes up like that. Okay, just very loosely. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to go up here then and start where the, wa the wall starts kind of crashing in. Come to cross like that, don't it? Then we have another one. Um, they almost kind of merge together in some parts, don't they? And then it comes across like that and down. And then the main one, really, which is the focal point of the painting. Um, this one is very sort of... Uh, I'm kind of sketching the form as well now as I see it. If you know what I mean. So I'm kind of... Sketching this in because I'm going to be going around this with a kind of a pointy brush sort of a thing. Just getting it... Uh, it disappears, it kind of comes off, then it disappears, doesn't it? So, um, this then, it almost kind of merges with the one above it, doesn't it? Now, these are just very kind of rough lines I'm doing here. Um, okay, so it turns and it comes out like that. This will just help give you the direction of the wave curling and coming straight across then, you see? Now that's okay, that's all we need to do, I think, for now. That's fine. I need to warm up because it's quite cold here in the studio. Medium brush, I'll dampen it again. I don't think I need to oil this because it's only a little, it's only a little section, that's all. So I will dampen my brush, and I'm going to go for a nice dark blue here. You can see it's a very, very rich blue, isn't it? I think phthalo, a touch of crimson, and let's see, you know, let me just look at this. A touch of black, I'd say. Not too much. Let me just take a look at this now. I know this looks quite black on camera, but it's a very rich dark blue. Um, I'm going to go across the horizon line with this, I think. First, and I made it quite thin um, only because if it's nice and thin it'll allow you to give you a nice um, fine line across the edge so just keeping it thin for now let's come down here like that Uh, even up at the distance, I, do, I don't know if you can see this or not, but up in the distance where that line is on the photograph, it's not completely straight either. There's a little bit of a kind of up and down here and there kind of a thing. But I'm just going to keep it straight, okay? As straight as I can anyway. And I can see the difference already now with this dry piece of the canvas compared to the oiled piece in the sky it's much different and it's much drier it's soaking in the paint so 
That little bit of oil really helped. That's a nice little handy tip now for you. If you find your canvas is really dry, try that. Okay, now, just fill this in so very kind of loosely. I'm going to add a bit of black to the sides because it's very dark over on the sides. So just put a bit of black into your mix. Okay, just like this. Okay, maybe a hint more blue. So it's really dark now, just really blacky blue kind of a colour. It's going to soften across. I leave the centre. And I'll come from here as well. A bit of black. So I'm leaving that kind of slightly bright colour in the centre. All right. Now, as it comes down on this side, um, it's not very definitive. Whereas over here, you can see there's a clear line between this wave and the dark background. Okay. There's a very clear definition. Whereas over here, everything sort of almost softens together because of the mist. So I'm going to create that kind of soft kind of a colour over here. So I'm just going to dampen my brush now with some thinners. I'm going to take some phthalo blue and I'm going to start adding a little white into this then, okay? Now, I'll just clean my brush because the black on that is making it more of a grey colour and I don't want that. I'll take some phthalo blue and some white. Now, I don't want to go too light with this. It's still quite dark. So again, a tiny amount of thinners some phthalo blue, I'll take a hint of crimson and a hint of cerulean, okay? Now, a nice creamy texture there, look nice and creamy. And let's go and have a look at that now. Okay, it needs to be a bit more green. So I'll take more cerulean and then I'm going to start adding a hint of the yellow, a tiny amount of cadmium yellow. then a little white. So I'm going to start making slightly more kind of on the turquoise side. Now, just pop that in across there very loosely, okay? Like that. And the thing about this one is it almost kind of fades into the background slightly. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it kind of almost fades slightly. So I might just kind of rub the edge of my brush across here and there. Look, just to leave it sort of dance away off into the distance. Look, you see that? I'm kind of leaving some parts then. There, okay? And let me just keep going. Now, I'm going to concentrate on this side, I think, for a while. I'll just get this right, and then we'll move on, okay? Um, right, so I'm going to basically pick up some white on my brush. I may take some Naples yellow and then I'm going to start popping some of that just to suggest some of the breaking waves off in the distance. Look, very sort of... The thing about this is it's because of the brushes I'm using, okay? You can see the brush I'm using is very sort of splayed and it's very sticking out and it's very random. That's good for this kind of work because it means you can get some nice um, random effects now, I'm just popping a little bit of more cadmium yellow into that, just to make it more of a turquoise -y. And you can sort of get these lovely little effects with the brush, okay? You see what I mean? Just popping a little bit of green in, and I'm going to soften some of it through as well. Okay. It just helps get that kind of rough look, rough kind of... Um, it's like a rough stippled kind of a look. Um, let's try a little bit more here now, just creating the rough look of the water turning and being very choppy off in the distance there. Okay, you see? Like that. You see what I mean? It just gives us a nice rough, kind of ruffled effect. I'll put a hint of it um, off in the distance as well, just with the edge of the brush little bit there. I'm not trying to be kind of perfect with this now either, okay? I'm not trying to be perfect at all. Um, I'm just trying to 
trying to get it nice and sort of flowy, get that nice flowy kind of a feeling out of it. Um, I'm going to put some more prominent ones around here. Okay, and you see, what I'll do then is I'll put in the really bright highlights later on with a slightly smaller brush. But as I'm using this one out, I can get some of them in, some of the really bright ones, you see? Like that, and perhaps there's one or two then over there. Like that, and just sort of letting the brush go around in little tiny circles, you see? So you can see now it's sort of catching certain lights here and there. Now that's fine for now. I have a slightly darker wave here. I'm going to start putting that in. So a little tiny amount of thinners. And uh, let me see now, a little tiny amount of thinners and some phthalo blue and some cadmium yellow. And I'm going to give this, this is a really nice green kind of one, isn't it? A little touch of white perhaps. That's not bad. Okay, now what I want to do is get a nice kind of a dark line basically between this and the ones at the back. Okay. The linseed oil is really helping. It's really, really helping. Um, okay, it goes up quite high here, doesn't it? And then it takes a dip down. Okay, like that. I don't want to make it exactly the same, but I just want to do it nice. I want to kind of capture the, the atmosphere of the picture. Okay. I'm going to capture that lovely atmosphere. And I'm coming down just to the top of where I think this one may be. Um, I'm going to add some cobalt blue and phthalo blue. Then uh, perhaps a hint of black as well. And I'm going to add that to this here just to make it slightly darker as it comes down. Take a hint of phthalo in there. And then leave it soften up, disappear. Okay, so we get slightly darker down on one side. Um, okay, let me have a look around. It's coming on quite nicely now, isn't it? This is going to be a nice dramatic kind of a painting, I think. I'll take some more black and a little more of the blue. I'm just going to make it nice and dark on this side, okay? Just like that, and leave it sort of... Just soften it out with your brush, okay? Um, all right, I'm going to darken it as well slightly on the top, just here and there. Okay, just to get some stronger edges. All right, there we go. Now, dip my brush in my tinners and give it a quick wipe on some tissue, just to get it nice and clean. And I'll focus on this side over here, I think. Um, we have a nice, rich kind of a turquoise now as well coming across here, don't we? So let's make a nice, rich turquoise. Some phthalo blue. Some cadmium yellow. And some white. Some weight into that. That's probably too much. Let's just scrape some off and get some more blue into that. Um, it's not a very, very greeny turquoise. It's a blue kind of a turquoise. Okay, so that's not bad. Now, I'm just going to go along like that. And I'm going to create the water turning around with the softness of my brush. Um, this one... It's really bright then along here, doesn't it? It's really bright. I'm just going to pull that down like this first, okay? Just to create the curvature of the water coming across. All right, just like that. You could even try that with this one as well. Just to create... I know you can't kind of see it on the photograph, but just to create the direction of the water turning. 
okay only slightly i'll give that a wipe a little wipe on some tissue and then i'm going to um i think i might take a smaller brush i think i will i'll go for a slightly uh, something slightly smaller just to give me a bit more shape it's something to give me a bit more detail now i have a nice little one here slightly smaller um no size on this but it's only a slightly smaller round brush i'm going to start mixing a nice shadowy color a purpley color so i'm going to take some phthalo blue some crimson a little white now when i say shadowy purpley color it's just a little shadowy color for you can see if you look down here close you can see a nice kind of a shadowy mauvey blue kind of a color around here and there it's that kind of a color but there's also a hint of green in it so i'll take a hint of the green and this may take a little while now just to get right okay a little more blue a little more white um, it's kind of slightly on the warm side now let me just have a look at this for a moment um okay maybe a hint more blue and i do see a hint more of crimson in there as well it's a warm slightly warmer color now let me just take a look at this okay i lighten it slightly now i go with that just for now so i we had this kind of a shadowy color coming in to the picture just here and there okay i'm going to soften it over I start softening into this okay let me take a hint more blue hint more green and i'm going to just fill in this area first with this shadowy color okay so this is what i generally do i fill in the entire area with a shadowy color we take a hint of black in that okay and a hint more blue just at the bottom there it's quite dark okay and uh, let me see now a hint more blue again and a hint of red again So I'm concentrating on, I'm just getting all those highlights now out of my head completely, okay? I'm concentrating on the really dark, shadowy colours in the water, just around there, okay? That colour, just focus on that colour. Now, okay, that's done. The next thing I'm going to do now is just give this a really good clean. And what I might do is first, before I tackle all this area, I might just put some lights in here and there with this brush. I'm going to take some white and a hint of cobalt blue and I'm going to pop some whites in here and there just to give some proper light on some of this. Now you see that one at the back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that white just around, barely touching the canvas here and there, look, just to create the way that wave is kind of turning as it comes down you see that and then up at the back right on top i'm just going to pop a little bit of lighter color here and there um okay so we're just starting now to get the form we're starting to get things moving let's take a little more hint of white and a tiny amount of phthalo blue i'm going to get a very whitey kind of a blue and i'm going to soften some of that just along the tops just to separate some of the spray on the waves okay just to separate some of them Uh, we can soften some off into the distance as well, you see. So this all merges together then, ever so gently. Understand what I mean? And I'm taking my time with this now because I really want to do a nice tutorial for you. Um, I don't want to just do a very, very quick um, 
very very quick tutorial i just want to take my time and do it nice okay there we go maybe dabbing as well adding a little bit of spray here and there now i'll leave that for now okay that's not bad and i'm going to just cut back in under this like that okay now cleaning my brush again i'm going to go over to this side and start getting some of those nice bright colors in okay let's let's try it let's take some white and i will take a hint of now this is a very bright color i'm going to start going for naples yellow Okay, just a little Naples yellow and then a little tiny hint of crimson. And when I say a tiny amount now, I mean just the tiniest little amount, all right? The tiniest, tiniest amount of each, but loads of white. And this gives you a very bright kind of a color. Let's have a look. So let's create some of the ruffled kind of look in the water here. You see the way they're kind of going up, turning upwards, they're kind of falling down, aren't they? See, like that. Now I'm gonna switch brushes because this is too big. I need a smaller brush to create a little bit more detail. Okay, so I have a slightly smaller dry brush. And I'm gonna go, there's a nice bright one just here, like that. And it's gonna soften down into the dark, you see? Now, a little bit more white, a touch of cadmium yellow, uh, Naples yellow. So, a white and a touch of Naples yellow again. And I'm just going to go along and create the tops. What I'm doing is I'm picking out the tops of that bright water and then I'm kind of softening it down. Okay? So, I'm leaving that top edge then, you see. I'm not touching the top edge. Let's try it again. Let's go up and along here. Look, you see? Little circles, that's all I'm doing. Small circular movements with my brush. And after each once or twice, then you see, just give a brush a quick clean. So Naples yellow, a little white, and a hint of crimson again. Now that crimson is very strong, isn't it? It's really overpowering for the palette. So only a tiny amount is all you need. All right, let's go down here and let's create another nice bright one here so turning 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 and then even let it soften off like that so now clean the brush pick up a bit more and then we'll go down here and again it's going to soften down into that dark look it's going to disappear down into the dark you see so we're creating that kind of ruffled look now of the water falling in and coming down. Let's try it again. Now down under here, um, it kind of stops, doesn't it? There's some lovely, real bright ones just around here. I'm going to go there and just bring it down, soften it down. All right. And that's the beauty of oils, you can soften colours together. It's very difficult to do this with acrylics. Uh, okay, let's go one or two across there. And then soften them down. Like that. And you can keep going at this as much as you like. Okay, it's completely up to yourself. Uh, I'm going to put a couple. Let me just get some of that more bright colour. I'm going to put a few along up at the back here. And um, I'll put one or two just there, okay? It's just going around in circles, that's it. That's all it is. So I'm gonna take my small pointy brush next, and I wanna just get a little tiny bit of detail done up around on the top of that. I'm basically just gonna take some white with a hint of cerulean 
but mostly white, okay? And what I want to do is just go up here and just with tip on the side of my brush, pop in a couple of real brights. Okay, that's all. In fact, let's just even try a bit of white on its own. You see, I'm just kind of dragging the brush very, very slightly. And I'm going to drag it backwards into that dark as well, look. So we're creating the impression of the wind blowing and then kind of catching the foam and dragging it backwards, look. Now isn't that wonderful? Isn't that just wonderful? And we can do the same with one or two of these. And then use your fingertip, a clean fingertip, I suppose. Let's just drag it up and allow it to fly back up into that dark background look. Isn't that wonderful? And I suppose it's all just about giving the painting movement, isn't it? That's, that's what it's all about. Now let me just take a little bit of white with the side of my brush, look. Okay, just on the side. And I'm just going to pop a little highlight here and there. Up, around, and that, okay? And we also have some darks as well up in there. So let me take a little uh, phthalo blue, a little phthalo blue, and I'll take a little cerulean. I'll take a tiny hint of black. And I'm going to pop a couple of darks. And I'm not actually painting them on, I'm kind of dragging them across the canvas ever so slightly, just to give it a little bit of dark here and there, because there needs to be a little bit of shadow as well in some of it, you see? So just dragging it across the canvas, letting the canvas take the paint. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of a technique. So I just wanted to give it a bit of dark, you see what I mean? And that dark then just sort of brings it to life. Um, I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush, a round brush. Oh, sorry, not a slightly smaller brush. I'm going to take a nice medium round, okay, number three. And I'm going to take some of that darker colour as well. And I'm just going to pop some of that. Let's take a hint of yellow to just make this slightly green. I'm just going to darken that line just along there, okay? It's going to soften over that way, but I just want to create a slightly darker shade on the tip of that wave just in the background there, okay? Not the whole way across, but just a little bit, and then soften it outwards. Look, leave it disappear out into those waves. There, okay. I just wanted to catch the little bit of dark. I could even add a hint of black as well to that. Black, a hint of blue, and just get it nice and dark just up at the top and soften it down very gently. And if you use your finger as well, look, to soften it out. I just want to catch a bit of darkness up on the top of that. That's all. Um, Let's go a little bit across here as well. And again, soften it around and drag it around with your finger. Look to create that shape of the water falling and turning, turning downwards. Right, okay. We're not doing too badly now, I have to say. What I might do is take a little of the lighter colour and put a little of the lighter colour down at the end of this one here. I want to create a sort of a misty effect at the bottom of this wave. So it's just getting lighter. It's almost like there's a mist being thrown backwards up onto the wave, which you can't see. Just a little bit, you see, just that little bit. And all I did was took a bit of lighter colour and went around in circles. Okay, let me show you again. Okay, a bit of lighter colour on a dry brush, 
and around in little circles. And let it soften. Let it just kind of dance around and let it soften up then into the colour above. You see? There. Isn't that lovely? Now I think we're ready to move on. Um, I'm going to... I might actually darken some of the shadows over there. I think I might. I'm going to take a little hint of the black, little hint of the blue. I just feel they could be slightly darker. That's all. I'll take a little hint of the green. Okay. In fact, just a hint of yellow is all I need. So a very dark bluey green. And I'm just going to darken ever so slightly along the bottom here. And then I'm going to just turn my brush again upwards and create some shadow I just feel it needs a bit more shadow here and there only just a hint you know what I mean just not not too much of it and then with the same brush actually I'm going to put in that very dark piece of blue that we have there I'll take some phthalo blue Pop that in there, and I'll then take my small pointy brush, take some cobalt blue with a little white, and I might just pop some few little lighter colours across here and there. Just creating some light, that's all. Now, I'm going to take some black with this brush, okay? Some black and a hint of phthalo blue. You can see there's a very dark, shadowy line up there. I'm just going to take that with lots of thinners, and I'm going to just pop that, a little bit of that in. Just You see the in, in there where it's very dark, and there's a very clear line between the foam and the water underneath? I'm just going to pop that in there. I'll soften it very gently upwards, okay? Just so it gets lost. And then I pop a little bit through the water as well, just in here. You can see there's a little bit of it there. And I come across and add a little bit as well to that and soften it up again. I'm just picking out little darks, that's all. Anywhere you see them, just pop them in. Look, let's pop one or two in back there. Soften them down. And I think that's enough. I don't think I need to do any more with that. Right, I'll leave that now as it is. And let me take a look. I want to create one or two waves off in the distance. And what I mean by that is just off up here i'll show you what i mean some cobalt blue with some white and i'm just going to sort of create perhaps a crest of a wave coming down over there and then another piece of it turning like that okay I could just see that off in the distance. I'll soften it around with my finger just to sort of blend it out slightly. But I could see one of those off in the distance. And then I might just put a slightly darker colour in under some of that. That just gives us a nice little wave, doesn't it? Off in the distance. Yeah. Okay. Just the one. Uh, I think we're doing pretty well. 
I think we're doing very, very well indeed, I have to say. Um, I might go and get some of this mist done here. I think I'll get some of that done, and I might call that part one finished. I think I will. So, let me just see if I can find this now again. Right. Um, I'll get some of this shadow colour done first. It's like a greeny colour. I'm going to use my medium little flat brush for this now, okay? You could use a small stubby as well, if you want. I have a small stubby here somewhere, actually. Let me see. Uh, I've that one, and I have that one as well. So, yeah, I'll use my small stubby. Okay, I'm going to dampen that, and I'm going to mix... Um, a slight, let me see, there's lots of lights and lots of darks in here, so I'm going to start with a green, I'm going to start with a nice turquoise green first, okay? So I'm going to take some cadmium yellow, some phthalo blue, a little white, and it's very, very greeny, isn't it? So a lot of cadmium yellow in this. Now let me just try that first. Okay, it needs uh, try a bit of Naples yellow in this. No, it's still not enough. A bit of white. I'm going to just fill in most of that kind of spray there, okay, with this colour. Just for now. Um, it's going to go up the back. I'm going to fill in the back wave as well, but I'm going to darken it as well in a moment, okay? So you can see the bit of green just at the back showing through. I'm going to just pop that in. Okay. And uh, there's not so much green over here. It's more of a bluey, shadowy kind of colour. So I'm going to clean that brush just with some tissue. Dip it in your top and try and give it a quick clean. And it's more of a shadowy blue kind of a colour then on the other side. So some thalo blue, some white, a little crimson. And I already have a hint of the green on my brush, okay? So that's fine. With that kind of shadowy colour showing around there. Okay. And let me see now. Um, it kind of comes across and it cuts in front of that dark one and it comes down like that, doesn't it? So just generally, that's kind of the sense that I'm getting. It almost sort of merges into the background here, doesn't it? So I'm cleaning my brush again. And I am going to, uh, let me see now, let me see, let me just, sometimes it's nice just to stop for a moment, look at what you have and see where you want to go with it. I'm going to put some darker colour here. So I'm going to take some black, some cadmium yellow, and some phthalo blue. And I'm going to put that very dark, blacky green. Plenty of blue in this now, okay? I'm going to put that very dark, blacky green just along the back here. Look, it's very, very dark. Just on that ridge, isn't it? Very dark, and then it disappears behind all the foam. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my brush, okay, to create this dark kind of brush stroke. I'll show you now, just to create the impression of it turning and falling down. Look, like this. I'm flicking it downwards and allowing it to kind of soften out. Okay, just from the edge. So you can see what I mean? I'll take a hint more cadmium yellow in that, just to make it a bit more greeny. You see, and then, when you have the initial one done, you can just take a fan brush, all right? You just have a nice little fan brush here, any fan brush at all, and just soften it around, look. Bring a little curve downwards. And we have the lovely direction of that little wave then, don't we? Now, I'm going to move to another clean brush. 
okay i'm going to dampen it i'm going to get this kind of foamy bright foam spray finished okay all along the top here lovely kind of a foam um let me see now make sure i'm just making sure i have all my colors as i need um, okay i'm happy enough i'm happy enough i'm going to take some white and i'm going to take a hint of naples yellow Uh, I'll take a hint of this green here. I'm going to go for a very whitey kind of a green for this, okay? Just for the beginning. And I'm going to go first down here into this one. Okay, I just want to lighten it first, you see. I want to lighten it first before I put in all the spray, okay? So I'm just kind of dabbing and flicking just here and there. Um, there's a lot of light down here. Don't worry about all those bright kind of details. I'll get all the little details in in just a moment. I'm just focusing now on getting the spray in for this, okay? So I'm just going to basically take some white and I might take a little hint of cerulean okay so not a pure white and let's look at the direction of the spray so i start with the small one here okay i'm going to just basically dab like this all right just for now one moment now i'm going to show you what i'm going to do i'm going to switch my brushes then I'm going to switch to uh, a slightly bigger brush. Let me just have a look around now and see what I have. Okay, I'm going to switch to my medium brush that I used earlier. Okay, and I'm going to take some of that on my brush, a very dry brush, and I'm going to sort of allow it to stipple, stipple away. Off like that, look, disappearing into all the water around it, okay? There, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Okay? Let's try that again. Take a little more cerulean. Lots of white. And it's the same for this one here. So I'm gonna just kind of get the edge of, I'm gonna get the shape of the edge of it. You see the way it forms a curve and then it kind of disappears off okay Isn't that lovely and i go along the edge here do another little bit here and then we have another piece it gets very strong up around here doesn't it now I'm going to do it first with this, what I have, and then I'll go brighter again, okay? So I'm just getting all this lovely mist in. Stippling with my little brush, look. Dab, 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 dab. And I'm almost letting it start to disappear off into the distance. But at the same time, I'm trying to keep the shape of the wind blowing. The mist, do you understand what I mean? It's a very tricky balance. Um... Okay, let me just put a bit more here. And then we go up around here and we have some more defined mist. I'll take some white with a hint of cobalt blue. And I will go along the edges here. And then I just leave it disappear slightly, okay? Not too much. Now, I'm going to flick it as well, look, just a little. Flick it as if the wind is blowing the mist and the spray. Little flick is no harm. Because it helps give you direction. And tells you which way the wind is kind of blowing across. Okay, now, 
let's go down here and let's just get some of the brighter spots in on this side here and we have one or two then that sort of just almost disappears in together doesn't it a little bit of white and brighten that one down here again and then they almost kind of come together don't they okay so not too bad so far the next thing I'm going to do now is take my medium round brush all right this one and I'm going to get some real bright 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 colors in I'm going to take some white and I'm going to take some Naples yellow and some crimson Now this is going to be a very bright sort of a sunlit color so for the the waves uh, for, for the splash for the very bright parts of those i'm going to do this very very bright bright white kind of a color okay and i'm basically just going to go down and pop it in like that and then flick it outwards and soften it i can soften it with my brush then you see in just a moment okay but i just want to get the initial brightness in and I'm cleaning my brush after each stage as well. See, clean the brush then. Um, it's almost like a salmon kind of a color. Okay, I'm just popping it in, just to get it covered, just to get it on there first. And I go, okay, there's a nice little bit of it there. And that piece kind of comes up a bit more. And it's very bright down around here, isn't it? And it gets very bright as well up around here. So I'm just popping it in. And we will play around now with all these lights and darks later on, okay? I'm just kind of defining some of these really, really bright colours. Just with some thick paint. Now, I have thick white on its own here. I'm going to pop some of that in just along there. Okay, just kind of catching some real bright colours. Um, okay, let's put a bit there. Now, I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm just going to flick some of those just with my fan brush, just sort of flick it away, softening into that other colour. Now I'm no expert at painting seascapes. There are probably people out there shouting and roaring at the screen. Do it this way, do it that way. But look, it's all a bit of fun, that's all. It's all just a bit of fun. In fact, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to just take a medium brush with some white. And I'm going to put some real thick, bright white. Just here and there. Okay. Let's just go and let's go crazy. So why not? Let's go over here and pick some nice bright white there. Okay, I'm going to stop at that, and I will call that part one finished. Um, so what I might do, actually, as I'm here, look, what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to just go in underneath all of this with that dark color and we'll see then how it really jumps from the painting okay let's take some blue let's take some yellow and a little bit of white I'll put a lot more yellow in this it's a nice green isn't it it's a nice bright kind of a green not a very bright 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 green but it's still a lovely kind of a turquoise green okay so I'm mixing a lot of this now nice and bright plenty of cad yellow in this okay I'm going to go in under all of this and just create that crest in under there all right I'm just going to paint all this dark in first just so you can see what I mean about lights against darks okay now I'm going to just pull that down and around a lovely rich bluey green color okay let me just get that off the brush I have a lot of this on my brush okay and up under here all right and i'll come down here then like that i am going to take a bit more thalo blue put more thalo blue in around there you can see I'm kind of flicking down and out, okay? So I'm creating the form of that wave coming down and flicking straight across then, you see? That's the, just, just the technique that you would use. Now it gets a bit darker over here. I'll bring that across. You see, like that. It's all about the brush stroke. I find it's just about the brush stroke. Um, it's about using the correct brush stroke, I think. Now, it gets dark over here. Then we have some lovely, um, we have a lovely bright kind of a blue as well popping through, don't we? I'm gonna use a new flat brush for this, okay? A flat, synthetic brush or not bright blue some bright green now take some white and take some cerulean blue and take a hint of cadmium yellow okay maybe a hint of naples yellow as well and i'm going to pop that color down and flick it around look and we're then creating the kind of the, the impression of the sunlight coming through here and there now it's mostly focused around the center of the waves there's not too much anywhere else um let me see you now for a moment here blah, 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 blah. i'll take some cerulean blue and some white and i'm going to pop some of that in as well just here and there Take more cerulean, and I'm going to pop some cerulean white in around over here because as it goes off into the shadows, it doesn't get as vivid or as bright. Okay, I'm going to take some cobalt blue with white. And I'm going to pop some cobalt blue with white in around here and there. I 
and I'm going to just really lighten in here. I'm going to make it very bright turquoise. Cadmium yellow, some, let's try some cobalt blue actually. Some cadmium yellow, cobalt blue, and some white. I'll put that in, right, and then I am just going to soften it with a soft brush. Now, a very soft makeup brush, okay? I'm going to pull all that down in the curve, you see? I'm going to add more of that colour now as well over here. I'm going to pop a little bit of it coming through. So the sun is just popping through here and there. And let's take a little bit more. And just go right up underneath. Then I'm going to pull that down. And soften it down. Okay. We have the general kind of... Uh, shape of the wave now that's really kind of all i wanted to get the general shape now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go up there with some very dark green some black and some yellow and some blue let's take some cobalt and i'm going to go up underneath that perhaps a touch of burnt umber look and i'm going to go and give it some punch some dark shadows here and there okay Now, especially over around here, there's some very dark shadows. And there's one or two around there. This will just help define the splash. And kind of almost bring it to life a little bit as well. So, okay, I'll go up around there now like that. Yeah. And I'll pull it down very gently. And I'll also use this colour down and give it a few flicks as well. Look, a couple of little flicks. Now I need to get more phthalo blue. I have no phthalo blue left. And I'm going to just put some darker darker little lines just with some blue and a hint of black and I'm going to put some darker ones just here and there and create little wiggles look and that just gives the impression of the the shape of the water kind of coming down but I am being very kind of random now with all of this as well It's very random. It's like painting a lot of snakes, basically. Try it. It's very easy to do, but very effective. You see, it just gives you some nice darks. Uh, it gives you the impression of the surface of the water. You know what I mean? Now, what I'm going to do is take some of that color, take some blue, and a hint of black. And I'm going to start painting. Get some more blue actually in this. Hint of crimson even. And I'm going to start putting some of that in. You can see it's very dark over here. A little bit of white. And I'm going to pop some of that up in between the green, okay? Licking it together, just allowing it, allowing it to soften together. And there's some more of that nice lighter colour coming down. I'm going to soften then some of these down with my brush as well. 
So now you can kind of see what I'm trying to achieve. And I'm just trying to do it simply. I'm not trying to make this very, very complicated or anything. I'm just trying to do it nice and simply. Now, there's one other thing I want to do, and that's, it does look very separate at the moment. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give, I'm going to give one of those waves a little more, I'm going to put a little bit more shadow on some of these. Okay, I'll just take a bit of blue, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of shadow in here and there. I think it just needs a bit more shadow. I think it's very, very bright still. Um, let me see now, a little bit more around there, look. And also, it's too kind of sharp, isn't it? That line, is that ridge is too kind of sharp, isn't it? So I'm going to add some more of the lighter bluey green. And just make it a little bit more rough. You know what I'm saying? Just a little. So for instance, let's go here now and just... It's just a little more on the rough side. It's not as um, prominent. So you can see I'm just adding little dabs. And I will lighten all this, don't worry, okay? I will perhaps even use a palette knife as well and lighten a lot of that. So it's looking a bit better now, isn't it? And I'm going to mix a very bright, a very light kind of a blue, just to go in underneath some of the wave, okay? I want to just, I don't want it to be so green. I want it to almost look translucent here and there. So a little bit of the light blue, I think, will help. A little bit there, okay. Almost showing the blue behind. Okay, you see what I mean? I hope it kind of looks like that. Um, okay, let me just take my soft brush again and soften some of that down and get rid of all those harsh lines now i'm going to leave it like that for now i think that's part one finished part two will be straightforward i think just nice and simple have a bit of fun um, and concentrate on all those brights and get some real bright highlights on some of those waves what do we think? Are we happy enough with that? Okay, let me turn the camera. Now what I've done today is, let me see, I don't know if that's all right. I'm using my camcorder and it's hooked up directly to my PC and into my video editing software. So I hope the picture is okay. Um, it should be a bit better than the webcam because this is 1080p. So I hope you um, can see everything okay. Thank you so much for joining me in part one. Don't come anywhere, I'll be back very soon with part two. It may be one or two days. Uh, maybe, maybe tomorrow, I'll try and get it done tomorrow. But I'm very happy with that so far. A nice seascape. I hope you've got some kind of uh, hints and tips from it. And I hope I've tried to simplify it as best I can for you. Um, but I want to do something nice as well, if you know what I mean. So let me know what you think, subscribe, and I'll be right back, don't go far. Have your paints and your canvas ready to continue. I'll see you very soon and God bless. Thank you so much.